Hello, my name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Port GIS Present Conditions web applications. This is replacing our Port GIS utilities uh, and broadening the scope of Port GIS utilities so that we can focus on the port uh, as it is presently. Our utilities are just a, a piece of that. Uh, and so we were just uh, broadening up a little bit. All the same tools are there, all the same functionality is there. Uh, and we actually have a, a little bit of more a little bit more. We have expanded the number of PDFs, engineering drawing PDFs that we have there and also made uh, getting to them more easy, easier and accurate. So to get there, you just click on the Port GIS present conditions button at the Port GIS Resource Center. And there are a couple of changes. I'll just go through the changes real quick, and then we'll uh, zoom in into some PDFs. So the first change is a basic GUI change, which is um, this is in white before you couldn't really see the the um, the scale bar. But everything else is pretty much the same. We have uh, some changes here where things turn on and off at different scales that are uh, more optimized for what we're working with. We also have this new uh, button, which is a Find Documents button, and we have this Drawing Index hyperlink here at the top corner. So let's get in and uh, get to some PDFs. So let's go over to uh, B Street Pier. we got a lot of work going on in this area, and it's important for us to understand exactly what's there now. So we have all of our uh, engineering lines and everything, but we're going to turn, I'm going to go through and turn them all off because I'm interested in just the record drawings. So it should come come on here. See, we have a, we have a whole lot of them. And uh, the way to get to the record drawing, let's say we want to get to this 1272. You can just click the Find Documents button click 1272. Now what happens from this scale is you get a list of a whole bunch of them. So you've got 1132, which is over here, 1150, which is over here, 1251, which is over here, 1272 is probably below below this or, or somewhere else. What it does is when you click, it creates a, a buffer and then it selects all the points within that buffer. For we were doing it slightly different, differently. Um, but this buffer is dependent upon the elevation that you're looking at, at this. So if you wanted to get a smaller list, this is a pretty uh, substantial list. Um, if you want to get a smaller list, you just zoom in further in on 1272. Click the Find Documents button and click 1272. And now you just get 1272. Uh, another change that we made here is once you select uh, a drawing in particular, you get this new window. It's got pretty much the same information, but we did some color, some 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 coloring here, so that we can associate all the IMP information similarly. But it works the same way, and it's got the same information. Uh, and so you can click this View PDF, and uh, the same thing happens here as before, and 1272. And we're into our 1272 drawing. Okay, so let's also do this a, a different way. You can also bypass the geography-based uh, methodology here if you click this Drawing Index button. Now, this links you into the, the same PDFs. If you click Drawing Index, it'll link you over to... What this is is basically a series of folders that's shared on a server the same way that you would have folders on your desktop or on a network drive. Uh, and so we can go to uh, Broadway Pier and then navigate to, what were we looking for, 12? Oh, we were at B Street Pier, so we can go back. Where is it? What number is it? B Street Pier is 10. 10, B Street Pier, 1272, PDF, and you're there. So basically, if you know what IMP site you're working on and know uh, your record drawing number or engineering drawing number, then you're already, you're already there. You don't even need to click on the GIS. But if you're doing research like, I'd like to learn about storm drains at B Street Pier, then maybe you'd want to do the 
the GIS route and and uh, click click pretty high up so you get a whole series. So let's say I'm interested in storm drains in this area. I would click identify and then then you can scroll through plastic pile installation that was done in 1973 uh, canopy walkway fending install two plastic piles repair damage can concrete plastic piles roof fencing and then you can scroll down through these and identify the ones that are most applicable to your project so it gives you numerous ways to get to the same to get to the same drawing there are a few caveats with this number one is uh, not every record drawing that we have it has points has a point or points associated with it. We have some that are hard to decide exactly where they belong, um, mainly because they might identify things underground or there might be numerous points that that they're identifying. Um, and so we're still deciding on some of that. And also it's very possible that drawings were never scanned that are actually drawings that might be in the uh, fifth floor vault. So um, in no way does this uh, if you can't find it here, does that prove that that drawing does not exist? This is a uh, our goal is to try to solve solve most of the problems, but uh, it's not uh, it doesn't cancel out uh, the last ditch effort of doing it um, the the way that you used to do it. So I think that's it. I hope that this is a, a good tool to use, uh, and uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions about this or any other part of the Port GIS program. My name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst here at the Port of San Diego. My phone number is 619-400-4778. My email is aisaak at portofsandiego.org. We're really excited about the Port GIS program, and I hope you are too. Thank you. Bye.